And you are taking a live look at downtown Tampa. We told you at five all week long, Special Operations Forces are hosting Soft Week in downtown Tampa at the Convention Center. Representatives from a number of different nations as well as uh, the U.S. military, U.S. Special Operations Forces are all here in Tampa. A lot of folks there, a lot of big plans too. Depending upon what they see, they might buy some of what keeps us and our allies among the strongest fighting forces in the world. In Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser takes us inside Soft 2024 for a look at the latest trends and innovations. Inside the Tampa Convention Center, the Special Operations Forces Week is underway. Hardware, software, innovations and communications, all aimed at answering the needs of our modern military. Any and every aspect you could think of that would support our mission and our operations, you can locate it here. This year, the clear trend is toward mechanized warfare, minimizing the risk to human life with drones flying missions rather than pilots, robots delicately handling explosives, and remote-controlled submersibles gathering visuals and intel that used to require an entire naval fleet. Basically enhance the lethality of the warfighter by giving them all of that information before they even get in the water. Let the robotic machines make first contact with the threat and better understand the situation so the good guys can, can perform the correct tactical maneuver. The other trend is to make sure forces are more self-sufficient, communications that don't require massive networks, and 3D printers that can manufacture drone parts in the field to extend mission length and capabilities. Logistically, it saves days, maybe weeks, of transporting a new piece or a new drone, and you can get this thing up and running in about six hours after it's printed and uh, back in business. The Special Operations Forces Convention is held here at the Tampa Convention Center because of its proximity to the Special Operations Command at McDill Air Force Base. Each year, SOCOM tells contractors what it's looking for to address the military's goals and needs. This year, nearly four times as many vendors have stepped up as they would normally see, hoping they have the right stuff. Here is what I'm developing here is what I'm working on and how it can support your mission as you support the security of our nation. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay.